about eight in the morning. It's freezing cold. It's late November. I mean, this is nuts. But do you know what? It's going to be an amazing day because today is the start of the big adventure. This big adventure is going to see beautiful lakes, high mountain passes. We're going to find the Loch Ness Monster. We're going to go as far north as you can possibly go. We're going to check out castles. It's going to be epic. But today's day one. So we're going to set off. We're going to start heading north. Now we're sort of East Midlands. We're going to go as north as we possibly can. Ideally, we're going to get to the Lake District and we're going to stay around that region. So we're going to get the kit on now and we're going to get on the bike and then get this venture properly started. Let's get going. I've had my porridge. That's basically horse food. So I feel like a stallion. Anyway, I'm wrapped up. I feel like the Michelin man as well. So let's get going on this adventure. I've covered about 150 miles. Whew. My heated grips are on, my heated vest is on. They warm my belly, they warm my back, they don't warm my nipples. And I reckon they're frozen. Can you die from frozen nipples? in the Lake District. I've done about 240 miles, I think again, on the motorway, and I can't even explain how much pain that I'm in. So I've not been off the motorway for very long, but I've just seen this in the distance, and I was like, do you know what, I'm gonna have a 10, 15 minute break, so let's check this out. Well, if I can't find a hotel, at least I found a bed for the night. It's not very creepy, is it? <laughs> Look, what's in here? Hello. I'm going to name this Helmet Head Castle. That could be a good ensuite, couldn't it? Wow, this is like really bizarre just to find it and there's nobody here. But then again, who wants to come here when it's like two degrees? Wait up, where's this going? Got vibrations of faith We're sharing a fixation And living for the day She's giving like the wind Wandering and dreaming Like friends She's mine like a peacefully laid Okay, so my plan now is to just keep heading north. Now, I know, um, well, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I'm in the Lake District. Um, so I'm just going to keep heading north now, see what else we come across. Um, if we don't come across anything exciting, I'm going to try and find a hotel. But um, we've got really... I don't know, an hour or so until it gets dark, so we'll see what happens next. But yeah, I feel absolutely green crackered. Blimey. Anyway, I'm going to get going. Let's have some fun. Hello. 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 H
So you know when you're at that point where it's like, I'm so knackered, but I'm also in that like, just that right place right now where it's like, it's becoming worth it because it's just beautiful countryside. But I just want to find that country pub, middle of nowhere, with a bench outside so I can put my bike next to it and just have a beautiful pint of good old English ale. Oh, what I wouldn't do for ale. Do you know what? There's been no car for miles. And then, um, like I said, look at the tarmac. It's like it's just been freshly laid, but, oh, I just got to stop for a breather and enjoy the view. I mean, look at it. It's absolutely stunning. <laughs> How good is life, eh? This is really, really living for the ride. It really is. Ah, oh, 24 hours of like, chaos to get my bike saw, like, sorted out, massive bill and I've sort of set off on this journey like already knackered and a little bit kind of deflated because of obviously you know all the things that's happened in the last few days and like the plan originally of going with my dad and stuff but that's kind of like been washed away now because this is just like this is like bike sort of bike heaven it's it's just absolutely beautiful now there's not massive amount of time left, I wouldn't say, with the sun going down, and obviously it is sort of getting colder and colder. Um, so I'm going to have to start sort of heading for a hotel. I'm going to um, jump on my phone, I'm going to go online, I'm going to see if there's anything sort of a little bit more north that I can uh, get booked. And I need a good one, I need a good shower. Um, I haven't passed a pub or anything for ages. I was hoping I was going to be able to pull over, have a pint and plan this, but I'm just that knackered now and I'm finally happy that um, I think this is a good time to ride that little bit further and then uh, get myself a bed for the night. But yeah, I mean, this is just, wow, this is stuff of dreams. Okay, on to the final leg now. Oh, I shouldn't moan, I really shouldn't. I just can't wait for this beer, I'm just, just knackered, but, oh. What a beginning to an adventure, eh? I honestly felt like I was going to freeze to death at one point because my nipples felt like they were ice cubes. Um, but now I'm off the motorway and my heated vest is sort of kicked in really well and the heated grips, I kind of feel, I feel a little bit, I feel hot, sweaty, but cold. It's a really weird feeling. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna get this final leg done and uh, check out a hotel. I've managed to um, find what I believe is like a, country manor house style hotel so it should be really good i'm not really dressed for those posh places but i really don't care they'll just have to get used to me but yeah anyway time to rock on with this ride just pooed myself my bike wouldn't start then okay what have i done wrong i was like ignition's on i turned the kill switch off flip start but nothing would happen i've rocked it a couple of times then it's fired up, but Jesus, we live in nowhere, man. That's scary as. Come on, come on. It just might have been something I've done, it might be a glip, but the engine's now running, obviously, so I'm gonna head to this hotel, man. Jeez, that was scary. postcode in and I can't find this place. Take me down some like really random sort of crazy road but um, yeah this isn't good the sun's going down now the phone's died balls anyway so I'm going to turn around I found it thank goodness this is a place I'm staying there's not as many people here but um anyway 
I'm gonna go and check in. Okay, all checked in. Out of breath, because I've just logged all my bags upstairs. And I've got that many layers on, I'm already sweating, so let me give you a quick look around first impressions. Check this out. You got a little four poster bed, haven't you? Bathroom. Oh. Oh. I think I could do with a shower. <laughs> oh. So, would you like to see how not to freeze on a motorcycle? How many layers you actually need to put on? Are you ready for this? Check this out. Don't forget the lifesaver, the heated vest. Thermal socks. Long johns. So if you don't want to die, and you're riding winter, dress like an idiot, and you'll be all right. Oh, I'm sweating now. So there is the stunning map of the uh, United Kingdom. So we've started around sort of the middle point here, what's kind of like Northamptonshire, that's kind of like in the East Midlands. I don't know exactly which roads, but pretty much motorways. I've kind of traveled up and I've, then I've kind of gone across and I've kind of ended up somewhere around here. Um, so I'm saying in this amazing hotel, sort of the top end of the uh, Lake District. So we've achieved, I reckon, about 250 miles-ish today. Um, so I'm pretty impressed with that. So yeah, happy days. For day one, that's not too bad. So I want to talk about tomorrow. So tomorrow is kind of like, I'm hoping better roads. I've got a fear now I'll jump on the motorways for a bit again. But tomorrow we're going to head into Scotland. Not just Scotland itself, to give you an example. When we set off from sort of here, we're gonna end up trying to travel up and I'm basically gonna keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going. I'm gonna stop around here that I believe is Loch Ness. Um, because I don't know if you've seen the news reports and obviously all like the myth of the uh, of like Nessie. Well, the news reports are trying to turn around and say, this is a recent thing, that it's giant eels, massive, huge, giant eels, and that's what people are seeing. And I don't know how true that is or not true that is, but I'm gonna go to Loch Ness I'm going to sit on that shore, if it's a shore, and I'm going to basically sit there and I'm going to see Nessie. So it's going to be another 240, 250 mile ride, but we are going to see Nessie. It's got to happen. Let's get on. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. 